And today stands out as something that was so much more than I could ever describe. <laughs> actually going to be a very very quick video for well today's vlog because today was one of the most incredible days clinically that I've ever actually had and I feel like that says a lot because I've had some days now where you know I've taken screws out of someone's drawers, sutured together someone's scalp, um, just all these really fascinating procedures and absolutely love those kinds of things but um, today stands out as something that was so much more than I could ever describe. Let me go right to it. So right now I'm doing this job in the hospital. Uh, it's called assistant in medicine, where I get assigned to a team. Essentially I help lighten the burden of work that the team needs to do. So it's kind of like an assistant doctor without the doctor title yet. Uh, more to the story. So right now I'm on a team and we were just kind of in the doctor's room and someone from the hematology team were discussing with my team because I'm on a surgical team right now and we were essentially just discussing, you know, what's the best way for us to manage their medications so that they could appropriately go towards having surgery. And so hematology were there because they were helping the surgical team decide the best time to operate on them and the best way to manage them preoperatively because of medications, etc. This is what hematology is really great at in the hospital. It's helping with surgical management, particularly pre and post. And while this doctor's talking uh, to my team, I then come to realize to myself, I'm like, holy hell, they look so familiar. And so I look at the ID badge and I'm like, no freaking way. So after they finish their discussion, because obviously that's what you do, you, uh, you wait. I, I'm then like, um, excuse me, uh, but are, are you Dr. Their name? And they go, yes, um, from RPA. That's what they say to me. And I'm like, yes, RPA. And she's like, oh, well, were you a medical student? And I've gone, no, no, n not a medical student, but um, I was actually the patient. And in that moment, she just stops and she's like, oh my God, like drops her things, hits the wall in the bin next to her. And she's like, Tyler. <laughs> and of course the big reveal is, this was actually one of the doctors that was treating me for my bone marrow transplant. And it was just so surreal. We're both in a uh, different hospital completely. And we bump into each other working on the two different teams. And it was just incredible to see her. Um, it's really kind of hard to describe, to be honest, because like the emotions in that moment, it was like, you know, I'm so happy so excited, but also so sad, so scared. Like it was just every single emotion ever, I felt just in that moment where we just like, oh my God, it's you. Um, and it was just surreal. Like we, we were just so happy to see each other, but it was just so emotional. Like there was just so many emotions involved that I can't really say it was just all happiness. Like all of a sudden just had all this rush of like, you know, every memory and moment that I had with this person. And yeah, like, I, I mean, I remember personally for myself that they were one of the biggest advocates for me getting the right pain management when I was going through transplant because I was going through absolute hell and I remember them being such an important part and actually helping me well get through this manageably and made such a difference in my overall care so I remember I remember them so I remember that night that they fought for me to get better pain management and really stepped up to make sure I wasn't suffering anymore and yeah, that was my specific memory of them. And, and they remembered, their, their last memory with me was essentially sending me off to another hospital so I could qualify for that study that was gonna be used to treat my lymphoma after transplant. And yeah, it's just, holy shit. Like, yeah, they, that was the doctor who was involved heavily in my treatment. And here we are, almost two and a half years later, working, both working in different hospitals, but working together and it was just, it was incredible to be together. It was so nice seeing one another. Um, yeah, I think we both were just speechless. It was like, what? Like, you know, what What the hell? It was just, yeah, it was crazy. And um, that 
that will go down as one of my greatest memories ever in medical school and so far in medicine um, to be working in a hospital with one of the doctors that helped save my life helped have such a massive impact on me personally and I think also shaped what I'm going to be like as a doctor too because I really remember clearly how much I was appreciative of them and because of that well everything and most things that I do is really shaped by that interaction that I had with them so yeah I just wanted to share that with you now as a quick YouTube video because I was like this is just such a crazy story and I wanted to tell everyone, but I was like, I don't want to just message people individually. I'm just gonna make a YouTube video out of it. And so here I am walking around in my local neighborhood and I get to tell you about this. And so, and if you're wondering why there's cake in the beginning B-roll, my birthday is actually tomorrow. And I decided to get myself cake because, so I finished med school last week and I got a cake for that, but I finished that cake now and it's my birthday tomorrow and I want a cake. So I bought another cake that I can then enjoy for my birthday onwards. So. Um, I've already gained about seven kilos <laughs> since exams and from the looks of it I'm ready to gain a lot more kilos as well but um, you know this is just how it goes I suppose um, but yeah I I hope you enjoyed that little little story it was it was really something else um, yeah blew blew me away I, I still just can't stop thinking about it um, yeah it was yeah it was amazing it was lovely um, I look forward to having more interactions like that um, in the future with my treating doctors and then I guess the coolest part is I actually look forward to being in the future the doctor that gets to have those interactions with their patients you know like holy shit look where you are now because um, yeah it was yeah we, we just chatted about just loads of things just like you know I guess it was, holy hell what are you doing now and yeah it was really awesome so anyway I uh I really hope you enjoyed that little anecdote that I got to share with you on the vlog um, a little bit different. This is very much an improvised vlog, but I was like, I've got to create this and I've got to share this with you. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I'll see you all in the next vlog. And yeah, as always, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. <laughs>